Hello everyone, Tim Stack here from the Utah Education Network and I want to spend a little time uh, talking about Keynote, the Keynote app on the iPad. So on uh, newer iPads the Keynote app is free. Uh, even on uh, newer Mac computers, MacBooks or uh, iMacs, Keynote is also free I think back all the way from October. Uh, so uh, it's nice they're giving this stuff away free and it's actually a great tool as well all right so let's look uh, just at the, the fundamentals here here now there are lots and lots of presentation tools presentation apps out there of course the two big ones PowerPoint and Keynote um, Keynote is the only one that works obviously on the iPad um, of those two but there are many so you know and they all do a, sort of a similar thing so it is does end up being sort of personal preference. Um, I am a little partial to Keynote. You can see I use it quite a bit. I've um, got lots of um, presentations here that I use. I like to present uh, from my iPad when, I, when I'm connected to a projector of some sort. All right, so if we want to create a new presentation right here on the iPad, I'm just on the main screen here. You can see the most obvious button there to, to tap on create a presentation and I get a nice uh, set of templates and there's two styles here um, the 4x3 layout and then a widescreen layout so depending on where you're presenting um, and what effect you want to have you can have a, a, some some great options here so I'm just going to do standard right now and uh, choose just one of these templates so we can get started I'll just start with maybe this one. Again, choosing choosing a template um, just gives you um, uniform formatting, backgrounds, fonts, um, shadows, all that kind of stuff. So uh, all of it can be changed even on each slide, but it's kind of nice that you are consistent. So using the, using a template helps make helps make it consistent. Okay, so um, you can see uh, right off the bat there, it gives me this defaulted um, opening slide. I want to see what other options I have. So if you look down here in the lower uh, left corner, there's a little plus button. So when I tap on that, I will get um, a view of the other style uh, slide types that are within this template. So I think, gosh, you know, this slide looks like a much better um, title slide for me. It looks like much more interesting to look at. So it has a big photo on it with this nice um, antique to look, uh, sort of a photo album look. So if you can look over on the left there, I've still got those two slides. That first one, if I want to move that, because maybe I'll use it later, I'm just going to tap and hold. It'll sort of jump out and I can change their stacking order. If I just don't want to deal with it, I'll just tap on it again. And when I tap on it, um, I get this little message and I'll just delete that one and get rid of the, that one extra slide there. All right, so I've got this uh, default here. So let's just, um, you know, double tap to edit the main title. So maybe we went on a field trip and I'm having students, um, uh, I have, I'm having students create a little slideshow to, to recap the field trip and, uh, and to let them demonstrate some of the things they may have learned on the field trip. Um, so let's just create something like that. So uh, I won't write paleontology field trip, but you guys get the idea. Okay, so I can just type type the text straight in. This bottom one here, um, I think I'm just, well, I guess I'll put my name on it. So a double tap, um, type in a little name here. Okay, all right. All right, so that much, uh, I've got some text started there, some text things, and now if I want to change this picture, so a couple things here, if I tap on it, um, that little menu pops open, and if I press delete right there, that deletes not the picture, not just the picture, it deletes the frame and all the extra sort of um, uh, style that's on that. If I want to just change the picture, you can see there is um, a plus down there in the corner and that lets me add my own picture so really that picture that's there as good as it is it's just a placeholder so I'm going to tap on that it it's, gives me access to my photos right so the first time you run keynote it's going to ask you for permission um, to, to connect your photos so if you're going to use your own photos you're going to have to say yes so I'm going to tap on paleo I can see the, the, the collection of photos I have and I can pick one here to start this okay so there's my starting photo now um, 
I can't edit that too much as far as if I wanted it black and white. If I wanted it black and white, I would go in and take care of that first, maybe back in my photo app um, or in one of the thousands of photo editing apps that are available. That all sorts of any effect you want, you can you can put on that photo. I'll just leave it as is. Um, if I want to see the options for editing that, I keep it selected. And then if you look up here across the top, you'll see this set of buttons over here in the upper right. So this paintbrush one is formatting, and it's there to give me the options for whatever I have selected. Okay, so if I have the picture selected and I tap on the paintbrush, I will see the options for that photo. So if I want to change the framing that's on it, um, uh, I get a, a few little things there. I can change how it's stacked and if it needs to be flipped over. Okay. Like if I have text on top of it, then I might have to change its stacking order. All right, so mostly you just get this option to change the, the frame that's on it, okay? And to customize a little bit, but it has to be selected. If it's not selected, right, if nothing's selected, and I tap on the paintbrush, I get that little message, all right? So that that's the first thing. That paintbrush up there allows me to edit what I have selected, all right? Okay, now, um, so there's my first slide. Uh, <clears throat> let's look at what else is up there. There's a little plus button. So this lets me bring other media onto the slide. So when I tap that, this is sort of the big one that lets you access lots of things. So photos, um, if I want to build a chart, and you can see there's a bunch of different styles of charts here um, that I can scroll through. The way I can tell that is these little dots out at the bottom show me the different options. Um, if I want 3D charts, 2D charts, interactive charts, um, you can see I've got lots and lots of options there, okay? even text. So when I want to add new text fields that aren't already in, I just can select um, sort of the style. These are the styles that came with um, this template. So if, the, uh, if you want something else, you can put one of those text boxes in, and then uh, you can change it to whatever you want. But initially, you're going to just get a selection of uh, text from from the from the template okay and you can even see there's the bulleted list and and lots of shapes so um, if I these are, again these colors are ones that are coming from the template so if I choose these they're gonna look like they belong in the template um, also I can change it to whatever I want right so if I decide oh you know I want to put maybe it'd be interesting if behind my titles I had this blue box, right? So I draw the blue box out, and then I need um, to move it backwards. Remember, to move it backwards in the stacking order, because it's on top of my text now, uh, that's the paintbrush, okay? And I can see the different things I can change, right, about that object that's selected. And arrange, I can move it back, so now it's underneath those. Um, those two text fields, right? So you can bring in more stuff to your slides. All right, let's add another. Let's add another slide. So I'm going to go over to the little plus button, and I can see the other options here. So maybe I want to just bring in some pictures. So I'm going to bring in a slide that just has placeholder pictures. So I can quickly um, get my photos that I want to use in. So I'm going to add a few of these quick. Right, that looks like a good one. And this one. Now this one is, you know, very a very tall portrait style. So I want to pick a photo that would sort of look the best there, right? So that one is going to sort of fill in the best. Now you can see that this top one here, um, it's cut off the kids a little bit. So if I want to adjust that, I'm going to go to the paintbrush. All right, and. Um, under image you can edit the mask so when I do edit mask I it lets me see the whole photo underneath the mask and I can slide it down so that they're not cut off okay and then I'm gonna tap done and you can this little this little slider makes the picture bigger or smaller too like maybe I want to focus on that kid because he's got such a great expression I can slide like that. And you can see the whole picture's underneath there. And let's say done. So here's how you get to that again. So I have the picture selected. Go to the paintbrush, 
go into the image section and go to edit mask all right and that brings it up in a way that I can have access to adjust that picture underneath the, the preset frame that was already there all right so there's that one set up um, now let's say that I wanted to um, have you know animations happen here so maybe I wanted these pictures to come in one at a time because I'm going to be giving my presentation I'm going to talk about each picture all right so when I tap on that um, you get this little menu pops up across the top and I can animate it all right so um, you can see I can have it animate in and animate out so I'm going to click the plus to add an animation and I think I'll just keep it nice and simple have that one dissolve in and if you want to see how it looks you can see at the top there you can play and it'll just give you a little it'll show you how it works and there's lots of stuff you can do down here you can do it on tap on transition delay I mean all the normal stuff that you would expect okay all right let's go back and add a, 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 the same thing. I'm just going to keep it simple um, and add this to, and I'm just tapping on it. I'm in the, the animation mode, so that blue bar at the top lets me do everything that I want to animate at the same time. Okay, I'll do this one fade and scale just so you can see it. And now notice how it's put little numbers on them, so that's the order. And if you want to change the order, Again, I'm, this pop-up menu is still there, so I'm going to do order, and you can see there's my order. So if I want to change the, their order, I can just drag them. You can see the numbers change, so now the lower right-hand one's coming in. I don't really want that, so I'm going to tap and hold and move it back down. Um, and now let's just um, let's tap off of this, and let's play this and see how it looks, okay? All right, so tap. There is the first one that fades in. Tap. There's the second one. Tap. There's the the third one. Okay. So you get an idea of how that is um, designed to work. All right. So also when I'm in this animation mode, um, I can do tra I can add transitions to the slides between slides. So um, let's just say you get out of that and then you decide, oh, I want to do transitions from slide to slide. So I can tap on that one. And you can see there's a transition comes up and it says, okay, well, what kind of transition do you want? Oh my gosh, I don't know what clothesline is. Let's see what that looks like. Oh, okay. So there's that one. I don't really want that one. But let's just do a simple um, fade through a color and play that one. Let's see if it'll fade through probably black. Comes back up to the next slide. Perfect. And I want to add that to the next one as well so they're the same. We're just going to do fade through, okay. And the options there probably let me change the color, and that is it. And I can now see those little um, yellow markers. Oh, I'm going to say done. That were up there that let me know that those those were on there. So if I go to to play this, first slide comes up. When I tap, I do a nice fade to the next slide, and then it's ready for me to tap to bring in these photos one at a time. Okay, so I can animate the objects on the slide and I can have a transition between slides. All right, so when you're working with students, the temptation is to put in every animation and every transition possible. Um, and that's kind of fun for a couple of times. It's not always super fun to watch. So, um, so as much as you can, encourage students to use the transitions and the animations to help tell their story. Um, instead of just for a special effect. Um, and that's a, that sometimes is a hard thing to do or a hard thing to tell which is which, but um, it is, I would encourage them to, encourage you to help your students um, in that area. Okay, so it saves automatically. When I tap back here up in the upper right, back to presentations, you'll see there's my new presentation um, right there ready that I just created. And it is uploading itself right now. Um, to uh, to my keynote and no, not to keynote to my iCloud account. Okay, so it's headed out to iCloud. Um, if I wanted to share it with somebody, or um, you know, if I tap on it, it'll open up. There's a little share button over here, and I can share it, share a link via iCloud. So I'll get a link that I can um, uh, give to somebody. You can see my options there, so I could email someone, include a link they could open up the, this keynote and see it 
Um, you can see the other options as well under the share menu. Okay, one other thing here, if you get stuck, you can always turn on this little question mark, which gives you um, little pop-up uh, hints that help you decide and or um, if you've uh, if you forgot stuff. Okay, and if I wanted to delete some of this stuff, when I tap on Edit. I get to select the one, and you can see there is a delete over there, all right? Or I could, under edit mode, I could select one, and when I click that little plus, okay, it does a duplicate. So if I needed another copy and that I wanted to edit, but I didn't want to file out my first one, um, I can do that. All right, so that's kind of a, a quick overview. Um, it might not have felt quick, but uh, just with the basics, all right? So thanks for watching.